I think giving my small experience with research professionally and academically um, at university and while I was at uni. Um, I had access to lots of tools and all these types of platforms. Um, so when I had come back and I didn't see anywhere where I could get similar information or just understand what's this building coming up, it made me just decide, okay, you know what, I'm just going to start a blog because I was collecting all the images and doing all these things anyway. My name is Jola Pomidere, um, and I have a background in real estate. I studied investment and finance in property at the University of Reading. Um, and ever since then, I've uh, taken an interest in real estate. My first contact with data, right, um, I think that happened in, 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 in second year. I would say that I could actively say, yeah, I'm working with data. It was a real estate project. Um, we had two or three big projects every year. Um, and in that module, we had to do forecasting for house for your house price index in the US. So we had to gather lots of information, macroeconomic data, um, state-specific data, just lots of stuff from um, sources that um, we were free to choose on our own. So um, I, had a lot, I had to spend a lot of time doing online research, just trying to get um, the micro and macro level data to be able to forecast house prices in, I think it was Phoenix, maybe Miami, and uh, just three or four random uh, American cities. The biggest thing we've probably learned is that, at least at this stage of the market, even though data is valuable, um, it's probably still very valuable for the more sophisticated investors. So um, what we need to be doing is using our data to solve a problem. So not just say, hey, take data. Oh, we have data, tick, tick, tick. It's, uh, use the data to solve a problem, whether it's valuation, whether it's helping people invest, whether it's helping people understand um, construction costs, how to execute, just a bunch of other things. Um, so just layering a service on top of the data as opposed to just saying, hey, we have data, come and buy or come and subscribe. So with institutional developers and real estate advisors who can see the value of data on its own as opposed to having to lay a service on it. Um, that business segment across the world is massive and there are loads of massive businesses that are servicing and providing data to these companies. So um, what we are just doing is working with them now even though it's a small pool and as they grow and develop we'll continue to serve them. I mean, after a few months of doing that, I had quite a few people emailing me, reaching out, saying, wow, um, this information is so useful. I am um, using WordPress. I was just managing the whole thing myself on WordPress and um, trying to integrate some tools, maybe, oh, here's research reports, try to get some maps. So when I decided that, you know what, let's try and take this to the next level, I think my major objective was to transition from this web this WordPress website to more of a platform where people can actually interact with the data. Myself not being technical, so of course I'm not an engineer, my specialty is research, I really think that's what I know. Um, the process to execute the first version was tedious. Um, the first six, six months uh, was a waste, um, a waste of money and time, which was really disappointing. and. Um, well, I mean, the next year was much better, but it also took quite long where I could say we had built a platform platform that wasn't just WordPress. Do I have an idea of the strength of my own company? <laughs> well, um, at the moment, we are just under 20. Um, and that has happened really just in the past two months. Um, normally, our control number is probably around 11 12 people but um we've had to hire a couple more engineers to help us build a bit faster so on the engineering team and also on the research side of course we've also grown we won twenty ten thousand dollars it was a grant um it wasn't an equity investment um interestingly so the check is here <laughs> uh, 
Um, we've not thrown the check away. I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> but yeah, that was that was particularly useful. I mean, we have been bootstrapped. It's a bootstrap business, and um, from the very beginning, it's pretty much revs that have kept us going. And um, probably our first real coverage in the tech space, like the actual tech space. Most of our um, press or most of, of any public stuff we've done in the past had been really etched into like business and tech. So maybe a couple of newspapers using our stuff or CNBC Africa um, or just respect in the real estate community. So Metaprop was, um, was a good experience for me. Um, of course, I think for, for us as a business working in a relatively niche sector in itself, which is real estate, and then we're now working in the niche segment of data in real estate. We had we had assigned mentors, um, and I got somebody who had worked and built um, a significant part of a global real estate data business. So a lot of the problems that we were sort of figuring out, um, and that I've had to hack on my own. Um, it was really just good getting perspective from other people. It wasn't just him, there were other people that had done it before. That helped me um, just structure a lot of things that were scattered in my mind. It also made me realize that the Nigerian real estate space has such a long way to grow. Um, speaking to them and understanding who their customers are, um, massive billion dollar companies who who are in sectors that don't even exist in Nigeria yet because, say, mortgages are not even developed. I think um, <laughs> it's, um, do you know what? I don't even think it's awkward. I think it's embarrassing. So sometimes when, I, so what does everybody think we do? <laughs> if you're like, so what the hell are you guys doing in this office? What, what, um, where's the money coming from? Um, it's not an awkward question and it's one that I would really like everybody to understand. I think, um, <laughs> Yeah, I just wonder, what, so what do you guys really think I'm doing all the time? But, I mean, the biggest way we, we make our money is through reports. We use our data to advise big institutional investors, like I said. Um, yeah, so people who are developing shopping malls, hotels, office buildings, the data that we have in our system is um, used to create reports. And um, because we've integrated it into the back office uh, that is Estate Intel and worked with, I mean, multiple clients over the past three, four years, it's become a pretty standard process and the engine knows how to just churn out whatever we need to do pretty quickly. So um, that is the predominant way that we make revenue. We also support construction consultants, um, a lot of them who just want to understand what's under construction, who are, who's developing it and how they can reach them to sell their products. So um, in terms of volume, that's definitely the biggest segment of people that are just calling or trying to use the data that we have. But in terms of value, um, it's definitely the big institutional developers that want, um, that want to execute or develop and they either subscribe to dashboards on our platform or they subscribe to reports um, on a periodic basis or um, for a bespoke request. But in terms of um, growth, um, our main objective is just to go into the markets where um, we see the biggest um, return on investment for data collected. Um, right now, those are markets like Kenya, um, Egypt, Morocco, um, South Africa, mainly because, um, mainly from a completeness standpoint. Um, but yeah, there are a couple, couple markets, couple cities in these countries that we think are super important. Um, for us, opening, being present in another country doesn't require us to go and do like a whole big regulatory setup, set up office, do this. It really just means finding partners, doing some data collection ourselves or with those partners and um, making sure that we have, um, um, yeah, making sure that the process there fits the already well-oiled well -oiled process we have in Ghana, Nigeria, um, Kenya and in a few upcoming countries as well.